What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see, we're doing this a little old school again. <clears throat> we're back in my uh, my car, right? Old school, old school ways. But as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about men and how they kind of go about relationships, okay? And the reason I'm actually making this video is I just had a client who was telling me, you know, did the guy actually like me? Did he want a relationship to begin with? Or did he just not want a relationship with me, but somebody else? Uh, you know, of course she gave me her situation and stuff, but for the most part, she wanted to know if the guy actually wanted a relationship or not. And this might be a little bit of a controversial video, but this, but I really want to explain this because this is kind of how guys go about relationships and looking for someone. And I said it in previous videos, but I actually wanted to make a, uh, a video dedicated to this topic, okay? So, she wanted to know if a guy actually liked her or if the guy actually wanted a relationship or if he didn't want one at all or just not with her, okay? And I told her basically that it really doesn't matter because of how different guys and girls go about uh, seeking relationships. And I used the example, I used it before, I used the example of online dating, okay? Women, a lot of the times, I'm not talking about Tinder, I'm talking about like OkCupid and uh, POF, eHarmony, Match, all that kind of stuff. When they go on there... When women go on, a lot of the times they go on with the idea, you know, it could be multiple things, but with the idea of finding a boyfriend, potential, right? You'll go on there, and that's why I always say you find these creeps and scumbags because you're pre-qualified. They, they go on, the guys go on knowing you're looking for a relationship, so they know what to tell you, how to sweet talk you, you fall for it, blah, 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 okay? So girls go on these sites both for the most time looking for a relationship okay now when guys go on their first priority isn't i'm gonna find my soulmate online i'm gonna find the girl my dreams online that's not why they go online they go online for a multitude of reasons the ego boost the their low ego men maybe uh the attraction, the attention, the hookups, uh, maybe just finding a girl to hang out you know maybe the potential of a relationship stuff like that okay but what I'm, you know, with that being said, the way guys usually go about it is they'll go on, they'll, they'll talk to the girl, they'll talk you up, you'll hang out, and if you hang out, they're like, okay, this girl's really cool, I want to hang out with her again. So they hang out with you again, right? It's, it starts to, you get what I'm saying, it starts to unfold if you can see this. It starts to unfold. So you do really good on the first date, he sees you again on the second date. He sees you on the second date, it starts to unfold to the third date. And the attraction starts to develop, pick up momentum. And it gets to the point where the guy is like, wow, this girl's really cool. I like her, or I'm starting to like her. Let's see where it goes. And then it might unfold into a relationship. So if you want to know the difference between how girls and guys look at it, Girls are looking for a relationship, for the most part, while guys are looking for whatever, and a relationship comes out of it, okay? That's how it usually happens. Guys don't go on online to find their soulmates. It just comes about, okay? So what, I, so what I'm trying to wrap up with this is, with my, my client, I answered her basically by telling her, you know, what I just told you. And then I said, you know, it doesn't really matter if he wanted one or not. I mean, yeah, it would be obviously better if the guy wanted one, but attraction is not a choice. Your job is to get that first date, win them over on the first date, to get the second date, to win them over on the second date and have it unfold naturally to the point where um, he's wanting a relationship. But of course they had the relationship talk, I think a little early on and the guy said, I, you know, I wasn't, I'm not really looking for one, not just you, just with anybody. And then she said, you know, she even, she even told me in the email that like she said, oh, but she said in a very, you know, unamused, like self defeated way. And I, I told her in, in, in my response that when you say those kind of things, Again, you don't have to have the relationship talk. It's just by how you say it. It's the context, the vibe. When you say it like that, the guy basically knows, okay, she's looking for a relationship. If you say it in a very unamused, defeated way, then the guy basically knows you're looking for a relationship. He just said he's not looking for a relationship. So therefore, uh, 
he thinks, well, now that when I comply with her and I start hanging out with her and we start having these talks and hanging out, again, uh, hooking up, going out to eat, dates, this, texting, blah, 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 it's basically telling her that I'm on the same page or eventually it will say I'm on the same page as her, right? So what I'm trying to say is if you and I were talking and I said I didn't want a relationship, but I still acted over days, weeks, and months that I wanted a relationship, you will eventually think, over time, oh, he actually likes me. He, he's changing his mind. We're becoming something. When that might not be the case. So a lot of guys, like this guy, he eventually pulls away or diffuses from the situation because if he keeps on complying, it's telling her, hey, I want the same thing when it's not. So like I tell a lot of women in the beginning, don't have the talk. Just focus on the unfolding, the, the natural uh, escalation of things. Like I said, how guys pretty much go about relationships. Just hang out, have fun, have a blast, show your benefits, limit the red flags, just be in the moment. Don't give two shits what the guy thinks. Just do your own thing. And the attraction and the chemistry should be there. And what it is, you start to develop the relationship. You start to get the vibe, the feeling. You start to initially invest in each other more and then a relationship comes out of it. Okay. So to wrap that up, I just want to say that guys and girls kind of go about it differently. I really think women should go about it more the same way guys do because I feel like it's harmless. There's no contract. There's no uh, signing on the lines. There's no absolutes. It's just hanging out, having fun and you know, whatever happens, happens. Now, of course, I understand why women are that way. You know, you don't want to waste your time on a guy for, you know, weeks on end and then, you know, three, four, five weeks and you realize he's not, he's talking to someone else. But uh, at the same time, I feel like you're not doing any better by saying, by trying to get the absolute out of them. So we hung, we hung out with for three weeks, four weeks. Do you want a relationship? Like that's not really gonna help your, your situation. You know, I look at it as you only have one shot. Make sure you got your, your your ducks lined up and you got all your shit together, all your evidence. Your if you're like I always say, if you're if you're going to a court case, you got to make sure you have it all right there in the folder. So when you present it, it's like Bing, Bang, Boom. Here it is, right? This is the same thing. You know, if you only get one shot, don't don't strike out early. Don't swing too early before the ball even gets there. You're gonna fail. You're gonna miss. Um, well, again, a lot of women do this three weeks in, four weeks in because they, they start liking the guy a lot. It's from a personal insecurity and they end up cut, you know, just cutting themselves short because they could have had another three, four, five weeks on, to win this guy over, but they, they, they just couldn't help it. They, they, they get in their own heads. They eat themselves up alive. They self sabotage and they're like, Oh my God, I need the validation. I just got to know where we stand. I don't, I feel like I'm wasting my, you know, just things like that. And I know how it is. Cause I've been there. I've been on both sides. I've been the one who can wait forever. And I've been the one where I've been on a couple days and I think I'm in love with the girl. So trust me on that. It's just better if you just let it unfold naturally, just hang out, have fun and just enjoy the process. You only have one life ladies, you know, just worry about living or not living the unlived life, right? Just have fun, hang out, enjoy the experience, be in the moment, be in the present. Again, smile, say, show them you're having a great time, and then just go from there. So with that being said, ladies, I love you. Take care and peace.